there is a new job available and I know just the person to do it. That's right. Me. <laughs> Successfully incubate a small herbivore in the hammock. I, I did that earlier on. What in the world? Everything starts with the size. If we're able to recreate ancient life, we begin with an egg. Yeah, I should be able to do that. I know you're incubating new dinosaurs, but be responsible. Each life we create, even if it began millions of years ago, is precious and valuable. Truly valuable. Absolutely. I'm like... <sighs> Terrible whenever one dies over here of like old age or whatever. But of course, these things happen. And I've pretty much controlled pretty much any other way of them dying. You know, I've tried to get the comfort and everything for everyone up to 100%. And it seems to be, honestly, I think I did a pretty good job. These guys are, oh, I only have one trike. Yeah, I forgot the other one died of old age. But everyone's at 100%, which is great. The uh, Draco Rexes are both at 100%. Yes. The Edmontosaurus, I think they're at 100% as well. Yes. So I'm doing my best over here to give these guys a great and valuable life. And I think, you know, make sure they, they don't get all agitated and try and escape and therefore hurt our guests and stuff. That's always bad. Even our Ceratosaurus, I'm surprised how well he's actually doing right now. Like, uh-oh, feeder needs more supplies. Is it this one? I think it is. Okay. Let me send a ranger team over here. So we we have one live feeder for our Ceratosaurus. Let's get a regular one. Let's keep the live feeder there in the back. But let's rotate this. Let's put this up. No, you know what? Let's keep it here next to the gallery as well. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Put it over here on this side. I kind of want to move the uh, the sheet or the goat one. But uh, I guess we're fine right now. Boom. There we go. Let's put another feeder right there. That should be pretty good. All the people in the gallery should be able to see it. And look at that. You can actually physically see the people in the gallery right there. That's awesome. I love it. And there's only like a handful of people there, but can probably only hold a handful of people. Guests, 86. All right. Damage, no. Storm protection, yes. Great. How are these guys doing here? for fast food. A lot of customers. That's great. I love that. Look at all that. 175, 176 now. Nice. Glad I actually upped the staff a bit because I think we'd be hitting the limit there if I didn't. Dino Bites. Kind of want to get Dino Dish now. Let's make that $10. That way we get a little bit more profit. Yeah, that should be good. That should be great. All right. Ah, oh, man, I probably should have moved the restaurant next to the hotel. That's honestly, yeah. I could always pick it up and move it. Probably not in the best location right now, anyways. Let's get ourselves some more stuff. What was I saying? Uh, truth and Ceratosaurus. Trice let's do more Triceratops. There we go. Perfect. And now let's go test out the new upgrade that we just gave over here, where these things should extract a little bit faster. Draco Rex for both of these DNAs. One star and two star. Still no uh, Triceratops. We must have cleaned that area out of all the Triceratops and fossils. Either that or they're having a hard time trying to find trike fossils there you guys. Let's go over there with the Edmontosaurus fossils and the Critter fossils. Let's go back over here see if we got anything. And we got more amphibian fossils to sell for 120,000. Honestly, pretty good. One star there. Extract DNA. It's at 84% right now for the Draco Rex. So these guys should be 100% very, very soon. Sooner rather than later. He might. They might even hit 100% before the trikes. <gasps> Power outage. Where's it at? Uh, oh. Who turned out the lights? Send the rangers out to reboot. There we go. All right. Man, the rangers do a lot of stuff. But then again, they're rangers. They're, they're supposed to do that, right? Anyways. Oh, yeah. These are like the upgrade platforms, right? Because I think that's what it is here on this one. Yeah, look at that. Both of those platforms have... I think that's for extra power output. That's probably why they both look the same right there. But unfortunately, I can't really do anything extra for the, uh, the things over here at the... Expedition Center, I don't think, right? Let's let's just go double check. Expe yeah, I can't do anything for the Expedition Center. Isla Muerta, we need to do stuff for the security. And Isla Muerta, oh man, we need to get five stars to get the dig team stuff nice and unlocked. Research centers required, which means I guess basically three different islands unlocked. And we can't do anything for the Expedition Center. But of course, that's why we're over here trying to get some upgrades and stuff, right? Anyways, let's do some research. Trying to get ourselves some more genes and stuff. I did say I wanted to unlock these other ones just so we get a good variety of critters and whatnot. So there we go. Storm defense stations help protect your park's structure against storm damage. Useful, huh? Yep. Many islands are vulnerable to intense tropical storms. I'm like, we are on islands, right? Sheesh. It just makes sense that we're going to have a lot of tropical storms. These can cause severe damage to your facilities. Thankfully, nothing like that has happened just yet. Storm defense stations are the reward for completing the security division mission on Isla Menton Cerros. Storm defense stations protect nearby buildings against storm damage. Yep, we have almost all of our buildings nice and protected from storms, so that's great. Don't need to do anything there. Right now, just basically getting a bunch of fossils for all of our critters, so I might just pause the recording and try and 
and just, you know, send out a bunch of uh, expedition teams here off camera real quick. Hopefully get a bunch of fossils. And speaking of the devil, they just arrived back home. Let's see if we have any more Triceratops locations here. Nah, not see any more over here in Portugal. That's for Ceratosaurus. More expedition things. Yeah, <sighs> nothing over here in Australia we could do, unfortunately. Man, of course, we can get some more Huangasaurus DNA, which we might as well do. But of course, I do want to max out the Trike or the Draco. They're almost maxed out in terms of their genome, you know? So let's go back to that one right there. Draco Rex and Triceratops. So, you know, I think I'm going to pause the recording right now because I don't want me to do too many repetitive stuff. I'll just basically wait for my... Oh! Amber for the sh oh wow really nice for the Struthiomimus very and it's 87 percent it might it might hit 100 here soon oh yeah with a three star one mm, that's very likely 30 seconds until that's done but man we're doing pretty well for those guys Struthiomimus might actually hit 100 percent before the trike and the Draco Rex you guys crazy stuff remember the show must go on this contract makes that possible. Use the ranger team's camera to take photographs and includes at least two triceratops specimens. Man, I don't have two trikes though. I'm gonna have to wait a little while for, you know, nature to take its course. I know you've heard the term photo op. Well, this contract is exactly that. But instead of a photo opportunity, it's a photo operation for the entertainment division. So, start taking them snaps. Research complete. Intensive repair 1.0. That's great for uh, modifications for genes here in a bit. Oh, look at that. The trikes are two stars. That trike, at least. Well, I only have one, right? But the Draco Rexes are at one star. Probably because I'm like, they have basically no modification. I'm like, the modifications we've done, they've kind of failed because, you know, it just kind of died while it was being incubated. Anyways, I need two trikes, but I don't want the population to go up too much, you know? So, anyways, let me send out the rangers over here. En route to feeder. And over there. Hopefully they'll get those nice and replenished. I don't know if they're going to need to be replenished, but there you go. Either way, $13 million in my pocket. Whoa! Holy heck. Kind of want to open up another gift shop or something over here. Yeah, I think I will. Gift shop and clothes shop, all that kind of stuff. Basically put it like right there. Obstructed. Oh, it's obstructed by the other uh, thing. Yeah, I'm going, hmm. That's actually in a really good spot. I don't know if I want to move it. I don't, I don't know if I can move it. Yeah, I think I can. Okay, well, yeah, let's go to destruction mode. Demolish mode. Get us 15 grand back. And let's place one down about right. And let's actually rotate this too. That way it's not in the way. Place it down about right. I think right here should be great. Yes. And of course, connect that up. Boom. All right. And they should come back online. And yeah, no one's having any problems with power. That's great. Now let's get that clothes shop I wanted. Let's put that terrain constraints. What? I guess maybe I need to flatten that or something. That seems rather flat already. In the world? Oh, it kind of goes down though. There, huh? No, oh, here we go. I can place it there. About right there. That should be good. Oh, what? Okay, I don't know why that's like going down. <laughs> I should probably fix that. Can I fix that like after? I think I could do landscaping. I don't know if I could fix this after the fact, you guys. Oh, I can. Okay, that's good. Flatten. Ooh, sheesh. Don't want that. Definitely want to raise it up a bit. Radius of this. Ooh, yeah. Let's flat. Let's smooth this out a bit. These things are kind of crazy over here. Smooth out the terrain, especially because we're building. And speaking of building, looks like our uh, clothes shop is almost done being built, so that's great. And of course, we'll be able to build another thing right here for our guests. And it's done! Ladies and gentlemen, find the right attire at our new clothes shop. All right, so what are we selling? T-shirts? That's the other one? Let's see what we're selling here. Dino hat, dino onesie. <laughs> no! D -d no! Natural causes? Uh-oh. Oh! <gasps> Islam Huerta unlocked, yes! Island highlights. Tropical storms, ranger team and ACU management, dangerous diseases. Yes, Site C, more commonly known as Islam Huerta. A newly developed island, the name roughly translated, and I do mean roughly, the island of the dead. Fitting, humorous even. Hmm, <laughs> how coincidental. That we get the island of the dead unlocked right when, you know, death happens. I hope it was old age. I hope it was natural causes. Let's check. Let's uh, stay here. Stay here for a while, though. But we'll see. Let's do the dino onesie over here, you guys. A lot of guests over here. Might want to get a dino onesie. Oh, my gosh. $36. $25 for a dino onesie. I'm like, we're not making much profit. Let's go to $30. And 312 Wow, 250 Whoa, lots of people. Let's get more staff. That's going to be great. $1,000 profit per minute. But what's happening? Where's the dead dino? <gasps> no, oh, it's a trick. No. What happened? Hold on, hold on. Di I knew it. Okay, I'm glad. 
I know it, I know it's savage as heck for me to say this, but I'm glad it died of old age and didn't die of anything else, like diseases and stuff. Because of course, I'm like, if it did die of a disease, we would have known of it by now. But uh, let's actually call the ACU over here, take care of the body, do this, and transport the dead. Boom. Heading to collect the asset. All right, well, on one hand, I'm like it did pass away, which is always bad, but it did open up a little bit of room for me to get a highly modified one to, you know, have more ratings for our park. So that's always good. You know, that's the thing. There's always good and bad equilibrium. It's all over the place. I don't know if you guys ever noticed it, but when there's good, there's bad. Where there's happiness, there's sadness, like sadness of the dino dying, but happiness of hopefully all of our guests being a lot more amused at the diversity of different dinos that we're going to get, especially because that one was made at like 50 something percent genome. Now we're at like, honestly, was it like 80, 90% now after that uh, amber we had? 88, wow, really good. So honestly, it's kind of a blessing and a curse that that guy ended up dying because now we're going to get a newer one that's hopefully going to be better for our guests. And that guy did a great job. Can't complain about it one bit. He served, I'd say he lived a pretty good, healthy life, even though I don't know if that was, the, yeah, I think that was the original one. He did escape a couple times. He did get aggravated. Hopefully I helped him out a little bit there in the end and made him happy and lived the rest of his days with a smile on his face. Anyways, definitely need to send the expedition team out a little bit more. Yeah, I did say I wanted to pause the recording and actually send the expedition team out and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I said that like 20 minutes ago or something like that. So I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start getting more and more of these fossils and stuff like that from the expedition team. If anything interesting happens off camera, I'll be sure to start the recording bite back up. But I guess I'm going to pause the recording real quick and I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys, the bank and check it out. We got some amber and a three star fossil over here for the trike. And look at that, only 95% right now. I wonder what happens when we have extra. I'm, I'm like, I guess we could just sell them, right? We don't need the DNA from the fossils anymore if we're at 100% on the genome. So we could probably sell home. I might have been able to get that last 5% with this high quality three star and then sold the amber. Mm, I'm like, we still get 36,000 from this one. So that's pretty good. Something else I did was I made another emergency shelter over here in like towards the entrance. So that should be pretty good. Uh, shelter coverage, 95% path connection. That's great. Open shelter. What the world? Oh, don't want to turn on the Oh, <gasps> is that a something died? Was oh, it the service? No, man. That guy was probably. <sighs> Whoa, new complete genome, you guys. <sighs> Oh yeah, and by the way, I, I learned there's a, uh, a hotkey for the ACU. So Heading to pick up the asset. There we go. We're going to collect the dead body. That's good. I'm like, I guess we could just wait a little while until we. Oh, speaking of the devil, we have our expedition team back. That's great. Oh, and by the way, I did uh, completely deplete this Hell Creek formation because, of course, I've been going there for a million years trying to get a bunch of uh, trike stuff. So we can't get any more Drake Rex or trike stuff from there anymore unfortunately but we can still get trikes and uh, oh yeah we can sell this one boom because we have 100% genomes and 36 more dollars and dollars back in my pockets so do you guys think I honestly want to do it 100% trike that should be really popular right let's go uh, modify the genome let's actually look at the stats too so we have different Ooh, viability goes down tremendously when we mess with that. Viability is 99% right now, even though it's 100% genome. Because, of course, there's always that possibility of something going wrong. Oh, and by the way, I got all the uh, all the other upgrades that I could get. Speaking of such, one research just got finished for ranger accuracy. Should probably do that here in a bit. Was that one right here that we do? Tooth hardness. That makes rating go up by five. Really nice. Attack goes up. Anything else here? Oh, 10 ratings there. Ooh, I could give it that one. Aggressive instincts makes the viability go down, but at 99%, I think it's worth it. Extra 10% for the rating. I think it'll be worth it. Let's do it. At least for this one. I'm like, we do have one other trike. Oh, and we need to take a picture with this trike with another trike. So definitely need to do that here later, you guys. So what do we have here? I guess we could do this for another 10% rating. Another little bit of viability goes down. Of course, that happens when we mess with nature. It makes it a little bit more likely for nature to win the battle when it comes to creating life. I guess we could do aggressive instincts again. Make this one highly rated, you guys. So is that 47? Or is it? I don't think it goes up anymore, does it? 47 if it goes there. Yeah, I think I think we're fine as is. Might as well get something that makes the viability not drop that much. So I think I'm going to do this one. Tooth hardness on that one. Seems like it maxes out the rating at like 47 or something, right? Oh, that goes down to 45, 46, 45, 43. Let's keep that there, I suppose. Let's do this one. That way we can get as high rate as possible. But the viability is down to 82 with this, you guys. Wow. 
It's going to be really risky, but it's going to be worth it. Incubate the bad boy. And let's just hope, let's cross our fingers. Nothing happens during this incubation process, you guys. Anyways, we did just have our guys return back with some more fossils. Let's see what it is. Uh, I think it was the Struthiomimus and the... Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! It's actually Ceratosaurus and... Two star, one star. I did not think Ceratosaurus was in the 80s. I did not notice that. Sheesh. Oh, Isla Lamentum Ceros is down to $145,000 uh, profit. Mm, should probably watch that here in a bit. Uh, we do have an upgrade, though, for the Rangers. Might as well actually, you know, use it. Give them an upgrade for Ranger accuracy. Boom. Let's go and take extra electricity. How are we doing on electricity? Let's uh, go to our management views. Look at electricity. We have 55 available power. Yep, we've got not, and we've got a lot of room for improvement here, you guys, which is great. And remember, we do have the other island we need to go to. And if we go there, we can actually place down a, a second expedition center, a second uh, research center, all that kind of stuff that we're basically limited to just one on this island. So definitely need to go start on the other island here in a bit because that will benefit both islands, honestly. But of course, definitely want to get the rating here as high as possible. And of course, having really highly rated dinosaurs is going to help that out tremendously. So, let's see, 86%, mmm, come on, hopefully nothing bad happens, viability down to 82, rating to at 47, what is the rating on my, uh, I, I think this trike over here might have been modified, so rating on this one is 39, ooh, no, disease contracted, whoa, come on, we need to take care of it, ranger team, come over here to the Edmontosaurus, confirmed, take care of it, quarantine the fella, <laughs> I knew you could do this, these new dinosaurs will be extremely valuable in our ongoing research, and we have you to thank for it. All right, I guess we got a hundred percent. Oh, incubation speed 1.0 at the Hammond Creation Lab. I guess we got the uh, one hundred percent little mission for her done. You know that or some other mission I forgot about. Okay, whatever. Release the trike. This isn't anything special. Thankfully, it survived the incubation process. Can't ask for more than that. Oh. Two trikes right next to each other. Oh my gosh. Holy heck, you guys. Ranger team, let's go there. Drive the vehicle. And it's been controlled. Perfect. Let's go take a picture of the two trikes right next to each other, you guys. Oh, man. I just... Did I just run into... I think I just ran into someone. <laughs> Need to watch out. Boom. Got him. Photograph details. $6,000 from a rough you photo. You have a real eye for composition. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Even though that was a rough little photo, just... I'm thinking maybe we open a new photo booth and put you in charge, because those were some awesome snaps you took. <laughs> I don't know what pictures these guys are seeing. I must just have, like, a knack for it if I'm just naturally going at these pictures just randomly. Nah, not even a thousand right there. Yeah, spe species repetition penalty. Taking the wheel. Yeah, taking the wheel. That's good. All right, so now we have two trikes. We have that mission done. Feeder needs resupply. Let's go. Let's go. Where is it? Is it carnivore one or... Oh, wait, what in the world? Oh, yeah, it is that one. Okay, well, I guess I can resupply it. That doesn't really matter too much. But I do need to make another Ceratosaurus, you guys. Oh, there's a random goat just hanging out over there. <laughs> the feeder now. There you go. Look at the goat. The goat is all alone. It doesn't have a friend to eat him. Oh, man, this place is going to get highly populated with goats if I don't get another Ceratosaurus out here quick. <laughs> Don't we have the fossils for them? Let's go see. Oh yeah, yeah, we already, uh, we already extracted the genes, the DNA from that. I guess we can make one right now. 84%. It's going to be decently modified. I'm like the the regular one we had. That one was like five stars basically. So don't need to do too much. Ooh yeah, it had immune response. That might be why I had uh, such a high rating. Plus nine percent. I might as well basically get the same one. I'm like it doesn't matter too much. Cosmetic plus 25 rating. Ooh, a little bit of viability loss. Let's do it. I think it's worth it. Yeah. Plus 25 rating. Rating's at 97. 114. 97. 114. Yeah, let's do it. I think it'll be worth it, especially with, you know, a decent amount of the genome. The numbers are on our side, but there's always that slim chance, and I'm willing to take the risk. $742,000 there, you guys. Remember, we need to close the gate. Because we do not want this guy going into the actual herbivore area. If you guys are wondering, hey, why do you have this weird gate over here? That's the reason why. Because I only have one Hammond Creation Center. Of course, I discovered later on you could actually create another one over here. I just I thought it was like in operations or guests or something like that, but I guess not. And we have new fossils. Perfect. And I think that was the Edmontosaurus. It is medium quality for both. Perfect. So we're at 78% right now. Might be able to get to like 80 485 or something like that, maybe, if we're lucky. So, Edmontosaurus is getting really close to hitting 100% here, you guys. Very, very excited. 
And speaking of 100%, ooh, yeah, Ceratosaurus, that's taking a little while to actually incubate, you guys. So I guess we're going to be waiting for quite a little while for that guy until he's done. But I mean, it's going to be well worth it. Anyways, I, I was thinking about putting another viewing gallery over here. And if I did, mm, this viewing gallery has a pretty big area. I guess if anything, I could put a viewing gallery here. But of course, we need to kind of wind a bunch of sidewalks and stuff like that. Maybe get rid of a decent amount of those trees, too. Yeah, let's get rid of uh, some of those trees. There we go. That way they have a pretty decent field of view. And let's keep the trees from, like, right next to the viewing area. So there we go. And we're going to have to actually put a pathway over there. So let's start building this. And let's start doing some curved stuff because we do need this to, like, barely slip by all this other stuff. There we go. And there we go. All the way to the viewing gallery. Perfect. All right, I'm... I'm having a lot of fun over here, you guys. I hope you guys are as well. Leave a comment down below if you guys are having a good time just enjoying me just along for the ride and everything. Of course, we still need to go to that second island, and I'm very excited to do that here in just a moment. But real quick, let's see how our Ceratosaur is at 52%. Mmm, yeah, he's taking a long, long while. Speaking of him, let's go, because I did say, hey, I want to get two Ceratosaurus. Let's go over here to Portugal. Hopefully here in a bit, we'll be able to have 100% genome for the Ceratosaurus, and we'll be able to have two of those all-star players over in our Ceratosaurus den, and hopefully they're not going to hurt each other either. That would be such a shame if they ended up killing each other, and I'm under the impression these guys might work together, might be, you know, decently friendly with each other. <gasps> Dinosaur ready for release, you guys. Let's release the star of the park, at least for now, the Ceratosaurus. Ooh, that one looks crazy cool. I kind of forgot what the other one looked like, but it might have looked similar to this. I don't know if they have... Oh wait, no, 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 yeah, I forgot we gave this guy a uh, different cosmetic. Oh, the roar! Yeah, this guy definitely looks different. Way cooler. A carnivore, I see. This time, a ceratosaurus. There are distinctive spines that run down its back, and a bladed horn on its head. <laughs> Just what you don't want to run into when you're out there alone. Or in a group. Absolutely. Ceratosaurus, Ceratosaurus, whatever. <laughs> it's not too much of a difference. Been pronouncing it incorrectly this whole time, I guess. Sheesh. Anyways, let's go knock out the Ceratosaurus. And then let's bring the transport helicopter over here to go pick it up and move it to the other area. Should be pretty good for it because, of course, the other one had 5-star rating, 100% comfort, and all that kind of stuff. I guess it just died of old age. I, I, I don't think I remember seeing how it died, but profit per minute, 216,000. Wow! Oh, man, I, I need to, like, upgrade these guys, like, accuracy and stuff like that. But then again, that, that Ceratosaurus is basically in a... Man, you really know how to put on a show. That's what I call star power. <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, unintentional show, I guess, right? Anyways, that thing is nice and knocked out. Let's go get the transport team. Uh, obstructed. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, I have to set the destination right now. Yeah, let's go put the destination over here in the middle. On route to pick up the asset. Oh, the carnivore area. Noish. Does anyone go? Oh, yeah, they are going to the viewing area. Nice. All right. Let's see. Anyone there? 41 guests. All right. That's awesome. Not seeing any critters there, though. That's kind of unfortunate. They're kind of all on this side. So I guess they're... I'm um, like, I should probably get rid of a little bit more of these trees. I don't like how there's that many of them right there. But of course, we need to have a little bit of shrubbery and forests and stuff like that. But don't want to have too many because, of course, we do have park goers. We do need to think about them. And the Ceratosaurus is on its way. And speaking of on its way, I think our expedition team... That's returned by- <gasps> Whoa! Oh man, I thought that was like a pteranodon or something right there. But it is an aquatic mammal fossil for $120,000 we can sell. Ceratosaurus fossil, low quality, and a very high quality. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. One star and four star. I don't think that's going to take us to 100%. Let's go send our team back out. And then, of course, our next Ceratosaurus is going to be at 100% genome. All right. Well, let's send them, send them back to Portugal. Hopefully, they find another critter over there. I hope so. Because we need to get this increased new genome thing up to 50%. And we should be able to do that pretty easily, right? Should be able to do that pretty easily. <laughs> All right, well. An opportunity has presented itself. Use the expedition center to unearth a small or medium herbivore fossil. That should be pretty easy. Just get the uh, Draco Rex or the Edmontosaurus. I think I think Edmontosaurus, that might be medium. Draco Rex, that might be small. So I think we should be covered if we just try and go for those fossils here in a bit. But let's accept. All right, that's going to help out. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. All right, well, I'm not. I'm like, I just accepted it. <laughs> but look at that. Our, our science is doing pretty well. 
our entertainment's doing pretty well, but our security's getting low because, of course, when we do other missions for other divisions, they don't really like it too well. Asset transported. All right. The Ceratosaurus has arrived. Ceratosaurus. Ceratosaurus. Whatever. <laughs> Dinosaur statistics. This guy's at 114 rating. Whew, that's like almost triple, honestly, of what our uh, trikens over there are. Upgraded trike. Wow. 114. And he's five stars. Completely maxed out. Wow. Authenticity, 22% a bonus. 24 bonus for modifications, mostly thanks to the skin I gave it. So, should probably consider that for like a trike or something else, depending on, well, what ends up croaking next over here in the herbivore area. So, hopefully, I'm like, I'm not hoping anything croaks, but at the same time, we've got to prepare for it. Welfare penalty. Ooh, negative five on welfare penalty. Ooh, do not like that. Man, I need to go see. What was welfare again? Welfare, that one was address dinosaur status problems to improve welfare penalty. Yeah, okay, someone must be unhappy or something. Grassland. Oh, he wants more forest. He wants more grassland. I guess I'll give him more forest. Maybe over here or something. That might be why. I'm like, we did get rid of a decent amount of forest just moments ago. So let's give ourselves more forest over here and shrubs for grassland stuff. There we go. Go. Always good. There we go. Just cover the whole area. I don't care. <laughs> I'm like, I think they might just be eating it. So that might be why it's disappearing. I don't know. But let's get ourselves some more forest, especially back here. Oh, oh, even in the water, it seems. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I definitely want to have some shrubbery there. Awesome. Let's check up on the trike status. Does he like it now? Oh, just like the herbivore thing again. Yeah, look at that. 100% on grassland, 100% on forest. And he's really good on population, really good on social. <gasps> Impressive work on that contract. It didn't go unnoticed. Really? I got small and medium? Did that guy count as small slash medium, or did I accidentally get a second critter? No, I only got Draco Rex. Huh. I'm not complaining, but... Oh, maybe she said or. I don't know. <gasps> We're gonna get 100%. You guys, he's at 96% right now. We have a 2-star and a 1-star. That should give us the 4% we need to get the full genome of the Draco Rex. Yes! Alright, well, let's get that guy's genomes extracted. Or genes extracted for the genome. And oh no, the Ceratosaurus is completely depleted over there in Portugal. Well, at least we have the Morrison Formation over here, so that should be good. It looks like Colorado over there, so I guess we're going to go all the way to Colorado, to the snowy hilltops to find dino fossils. And I hope they come back soon, because of course, we do need to max that guy out and give our uh, other Ceratosaurus a friend, and probably give him another skin as well. It's actually, uh, I'm not looking to actually incubate, I'm just kind of messing around with the genes. Modify genome. So which one did this one have? Uh, just a savanna pattern. Ooh, I thought I had something else. I guess I didn't have another pattern for these guys. I, I unlocked all the patterns, of course. That gives plus 25 rating. I guess I could keep the savanna one on that one. And then, ooh, new complete genome on the Draco Rex. Yeah! Awesome! Now how are these guys doing? Oh, no, 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 oh, no! Oh, I just saw that thing die. Died of all... I couldn't do anything about it. Died of old age. Well... The Hwangus... How, how, how are the other Hwangus horses... Hwangus horse eye? <laughs> how are they doing? With the passing of their friend. Let's go. I'm like, I have to bring the ACU people over here to go deal with that, but... Where are the other ones at? Ooh, there's the other one right there. Social... Ooh, it's kind of on the brink-ish. But he's still fine, so that's good. This guy, forest and all that stuff. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. That's just kind of what happens in a dinosaur park. There's going to be death. Can't really stop it, honestly. Unless, you know, we improve the genome, which, of course, we're always doing. We're trying to get these guys the best genome possible. Asset transportation in progress. All right, that's great. Our next Ceratosaurus should be 100%. And speaking of 100%, should have a Draco Rex nice and 100% over here. Guys, let's uh, modify the genome. Let's give him a nice cool skin. Ooh, plus 25, plus 25 for arid alpine. Let's give him the alpine. That might be kind of cool. Now, what about defense? Aggressive instincts, I guess. <sighs> I'm like, I, these guys have been pretty aggressive in the past. I don't know if it's going to change their actual like behavior and stuff like that, where they're going to try and escape more often. But as long as I, you know, keep them happy, they shouldn't do that. Kind of want to keep that one, get the rating up a little bit more. This is making the rating go... Oh, wait, I didn't even select it. Alpine, yes, let's select that one. What in the world? Rating goes up by only 5. I'm like, it says plus 25 rating. Oh, 25%. Okay, I thought it was 25 points. All right, well, yeah, let's get... Let's get this one. I don't know. Yeah, let's do Alpine. Oh, no! 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 Man, another one. Which one is it? Guess we'll find out here in a bit. But there we go. Let's select this one. Applied. Just trying to get a decently rated critter. 
Immune response, yes. Let's do that one. Up to 42 now. This guy is, I guess, help out the lifespan. Let's try and get this guy's lifespan up to 100%, 103. Let's do this one. The rating doesn't go up very many, but lifespan does go up a lot. 11. Viability goes down a ah, decent amount, but definitely defense to Emily. These guys don't really need any. If they're not in combat, they don't really need any defense, honestly. So 44, 43. I guess I could do this one. Yeah, I guess we're fine. All right. Well, I guess we're going to be making ourselves a Draco Rex here, guys. I assume another herbivore just passed, unfortunately, but let's incubate yet another one. When there's death, there's always life, it seems, to bounce everything out. Oh, it was a dra Oh, man. Well, that's kind of coincidental as heck. I just said when there's death, there's life. One Draco Rex just died, and we're incubating yet another one, and fingers crossed that we do not have any problems with this one, you guys. But then again, we started out 100% genome. We did a lot of modifications. There's going to be a problem, very likely, so we just need to deal with it if it does happen. But let's try to get our cell. I'm like, we have 100% Draco Rex. Don't need that anymore. Edmontosaurus, Ceratosaurus. I assume our Ceratosaurus is not 100% just yet, so let's continue getting more of that. And if, if it is 100%, oh! Look at that medium quality. Nice. It's definitely going to hit 100%. Yep. So I guess we're going to get uh, extra fossils we could actually sell here in a bit. So honestly, not bad. I really need to do something for security. <sighs> like it's getting real low there, you guys. Take the contract. I have a feeling it'll be worth it in the long run for both of us. Maintain a dinosaur rating of at least three stars for three minutes. That seems, I'd say, pretty, especially because of how late we are into this right now. I think we should be fine. I guess we're going to have to wait a little while until our new Draco Rex is out. Because we're going to have to release him right now. Let's see what this Alpine skin looks like. Hopefully it's pretty cool. Oh. <gasps> wow. Yeah, kind of like a black and white. Or maybe like a dark green and white. Can't really tell when he's next to a bunch of green, right? Honestly, I like it. I like the variation in colors. I'm pretty sure my park goers like it too. Definitely helps out with his star power. And he's good to go. All right. His social's in the red right now. I wonder why. Maybe he's not near another Draco right? Uh, oh, yeah, he's in the, uh, he's, uh, I forgot. This is completely enclosed. I've, I need to reopen that because, of course, we did make a Ceratosaurus just moments ago and had to, you know, close the gate just to make sure no Omnoms happen, right? <laughs> but I think we should be fine for right now. Are our fossils done? Are we at 100%? Uh, we might be just short. We might be at, like, 99 or something. Let's check our genome library, you guys. Oh, see, that's what I, 98. 98% right there. Man. And of course, I guess we'll have to wait a minute for this guy to get out. And he's fine. All right, let's close the gate. Oh no, his tail! His tail! Oh, ooh. Lucky one right there, you guys. He almost got his tail cut off. Sheesh. And yeah, his social still needs to go up a little bit. So we might want to make another Draco Rex, you guys. Expedition complete. Perfect. Doesn't really matter what we get, but wow, two three stars. That's great. Let's not argue over the small stuff. Looking at the big picture, this is a solid contract. It is. I think I might have the accuracy upgrade. I might have already done that, so I guess we're going to give him yet another upgrade for accuracy, I suppose. Ooh, yeah. I, I definitely need to sell this one. But for $80,000, $80, that's really, really good. Can't complain about that one bit. But look at this, 98% plus 0% so far. Hopefully it actually hits 100%. I'm like, it is three stars, right? Anyways, let's go give these guys another... Oh. Yeah, they already have an upgrade. So let's give them yet another accuracy upgrade. I think that was what we needed to do. Yes, accuracy. We have a lot of slots here we can use, so let's get reload speed up as well. You met the objectives and secured a victory. I was expecting no less. <laughs> All right. Well, seems like we're good to go here, you guys. Lots of space here for these guys to get upgrades. Ah! <gasps> Complete genome of the Ceratus Horus is complete, and the gate is closed. That's good. I think we already did some modifications before this guy was ready, right? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is right there, Ceratus Horus. So, modified genome. I guess I could kind of switch it up a little bit. Just kind of get a little bit of variation here and there, you know? So, maybe I'll switch that one to the intensive repair one. Yeah, that sounds kind of cool. Plus 8, plus 10% on aggressive instinct. Ooh, for a Serata, I don't know if I want to do that, but <laughs> hey, might as well do it, huh? Up to 132 for the rating. 144, 145, 142. Yeah, let's do the 145. Oh, man, that's three aggressive instincts here, you guys. This is going to be kind of crazy. Ooh, but he's down to, what was that, 71% right there if I incubate him? $874,000, but we're almost at $20 million. Wow. 145 rating, viability down to 71. Ooh. That's dangerously low. I, I do not like that number at all. Like, that's only like 10% above whenever we had like two or three Draco Rex fails in a row back there, you guys. Anyways, 
I guess, I'm like, we did lose a critter back there. A, uh, what was it called again? Kiwangasaurus. Yes, let's go back here. Let's go see if we can get some more DNA for them. And maybe even max out their genome, too. But I think I'm going to pause the recording, wait for the Ceratosaurus to hopefully successfully incubate real quick. And I'm going to continue getting my uh, excavation teams to, you know, do what they need to do. And then how about whenever we come back? Let's start on that new island. I think, or, or at least whenever I come back, I'm going to show you guys the rating and all that kind of stuff for having two high star power Ceratosauruses. And hopefully another, I guess I could afford another one of those, right? Let's get a different skin, though. Basically keep the same genome except for a different skin, so arid pattern, yes. Let's do that one. That seems really good. Let's try and get ourselves a Dracorex for $244,000. That's good. And Ceratosaurus is at 35% right now, so it's going to take a little while for that guy to incubate. And of course, when he does incubate, I'm going to have to transport him over to the Ceratosaurus enclosure. So I'm going to be doing that off camera real quick while I continue getting more fossils and all that kind of stuff. So I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys, back. It's only been like a couple minutes, but I thought, hey, you know what? It'd be kind of fun if we actually took control, piloted the helicopter over here at the ACU and tried to actually trank that new Ceratosaurus that we just, oh, take off. There you go. That we just successfully incubated, thankfully. So anyway, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ascend. Here we go. And let's see. Let's get close to that guy. Thankfully, he's in a closed enclosure. Because I do not want... Ooh, are we a safe distance? And here we go, dart rifle. Rotation in effect. And, oh, missed. Asset missed. That's a hit. That's a good hit right there. Administering sedative. Another hit right there. Probably need another one. Or not. Yeah. There we go, we got it. Yeah, awesome. Definitely want to do these first person things a little bit more often, you guys. All right, well, let's send in the other team. I probably have to ex exit this. There we go. And now let's send in the big guns, the big helicopter, the transport copter. Let's send that one over there to go pick it up. And let's go set the destination over here in the Ceratosaurus area. Boom. Asset. All right, that's awesome. So, unfortunately, off camera just moments ago, we did lose yet another Kyohangasaurus. So that's kind of unfortunate, but... We are getting some good progress on their genome. Uh, I think we just got two more of them from our expedition team. So he's up to 90 or 60. Oh, I wish it was 93%. 63% right there. Shoot them. I, I, I kind of want to get more of those guys. They're at 97%. Really close to getting the... Uh, Oh, expedition complete. All right. Speaking of the devil, right? So I might as well get more Shruthiomimus, guys. Oh, two star and one star. Yeah, I'm not really getting very high quality fossils for the Hyangasaurus. So I guess I'm going to have to slowly get this guy's genome built. But right now we have a 97% on the Shruthiomimus. So let's actually try and get him to 100% at Montosaurus. Here we go, Shruthiomimus. Let's actually get him to 100%, you guys. And then I guess we could actually upgrade him and get him some good star power. And hopefully he's going to be... Oh, and I think we have a... Uh, yes, we have a Draco Rex there ready for release so and he's got the arid pattern skin on as well and i guess we can go look at the uh no 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 yeah the other ceratosaurus has basically the same skin i think so he's going to look exactly the same as the other one unfortunately probably i probably should have kept him as like a normal skin instead of the uh arid skin or whatever he has now but here's this guy speaking of arid skin i think he has like air or savannah or something like that I remember the other one was like kind of a dark blue or something for the uh Yeah, Draco Rex. Alpine skin, that's what it was. Alpine skin. But there we go. Open the gate for him. Hopefully he's going to get out there. And hopefully our expedition team, or excavation team, or whatever. Maybe it's both. Hopefully they're going to get back here in a bit and get us our last DNA we need for the Struthiomimus. But look at this. We're lowering the Pino Ceratosaurus, or Ceratosaurus. And hopefully it's not going to max out on social. Look at him. Look at him. Look at the helicopter. <laughs> oh, man, I love his head all turned around like that, looking straight up. Wondering what in the world is that machine? Ooh, two Ceratosaurus eye right next to each other. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to do anything to each other, I don't think, right? Ooh, uh-oh. Oh, what in the world? Glitch, glitch city over here. <laughs> I guess they're both thirsty, maybe. Are they both thirsty, or maybe they're going to cool down in the water? I guess maybe a little bit of both. That one's going to go drink some water. This one's just kind of cooling off, I suppose. I could make the water deeper, I think. Why can neither one of them's doing anything? <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Either way, let's check our ratings. Well, wow, three and a half stars for the whole park. Three stars right now for the dinosaur rating. How's our countdown doing? <gasps> Countdown's at two minutes, 25 seconds. <gasps> 
I think we can do it, you guys. I think we can, especially with that brand new over here, the Draco Rex. That was pretty highly upgraded. Good star power on him, but we are missing one Hewangus horse because, of course, that thing died after I paused the recording. So kind of waiting on the expedition people to come. Oh, they're returning right now. There they are. The helicopter has arrived home. Yes. All right. Well, let's go make a fully upgraded Struthiomimus here in just a moment. And I guess... Oh, baby. Yeah, let's, let's get the... Is that going to get us enough percentage, though? Or should I save the... Yeah, let's, let's use the uh, let's use the amber. We're not going to get that much money if we sold it. We've got a new offer here that you should definitely look over. Ooh, incubate, hatch, and release at least four new dino... Man, I wish I did that like five minutes earlier. I've been making a lot of critters lately, you guys. There we go, though. If Dr. Malcolm is to be believed, then all of this, our reality, is just seemingly random chaos hiding some deeper truth. A numbers game. Like our dinosaur count. Numbers. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to get that number up. But of course, I do need to go to the uh, other island so I could actually, you know, get another expedition center and have two teams and all that kind of stuff. But maybe we're going to be doing that next episode because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to end this episode here pretty soon, right? Sheesh. <laughs> Got a pretty decent amount of progress here, especially lately. The past few episodes with the genomes and all that kind of stuff. Really, really good progress going on there. Research. Uh, there's a few things I could research here for asset containment unit for the ACU. What was that again? Scheduling. Oh, I thought I already unlocked that I guess I didn't okay whatever anyways let's just get those things I'm just trying to unlock as many things as possible trying to get each and every uh machine oh wait I thought these I sent these guys out to do something I guess not let's get some more Serrat sources maxed out don't need to go there let's go to Struthiomimus at Montesaurus we could sell the Triceratops fossils if we even get any and of course sell these Struthiomimus fossils too and at Montesaurus that's going to be great that one should be depleted here pretty soon to be quite honest because We've been going there since, like, I think the beginning, so... Surprise, it's still going all the way to now, sheesh. How's that amber doing? Oh, it's done. I guess I never noticed. Did we hit 100%? No. I hope we did. Oh, it's going to be 99, isn't it? Uh, Shrewdio minus 100%. Oh, power outage. Where's that at? That is at... What in the world is that? I guess we had a power outage at the actual power place, so let's go send the rangers over here to do the ranger duties. I wasn't entirely sure about this one, but you proved me wrong. What'd I do right there? Oh, yeah, doing, uh, having... Without exceptional security, nothing else here would be possible. That's our mandate. And on Islamat and Seras, you're showing the rest of us how it's done. You're deserving of this reward. All right, probably got a pretty good amount of money. $21 million, definitely need to start using that. But, of course, this one has a lot of reboot, like, problems and stuff like that. So, <laughs> I'm like, we do have the two upgrades for power output and stuff like that. So, that's probably why it's having the problem. Because it does increase the uh, ability or the risk by 5% each one. So, it's up 10% more likely for power outages. So, when that thing goes out, pretty much the whole park is going to be affected. Because, of course, we're almost running to the limit in terms of uh, electricity and power and whatnot right now, right? We only have, yeah, we only have 51 left. So we don't have too much wiggle room, and especially whenever I'm doing upgrades here and there. So definitely need to keep an eye on that. How are my chops over here doing, actually? Uh, 390 people. Wow. Glad I got more employees there. That's good. How about over here at the fast food? 332. That's great. Seems like a little bit. Oh, feeder needs resupply. Where's that at? Over here? Yes, it is. Okay. So let's get our rangers over here. Ranger team wants to. Still haven't had. En route to top up feeder. A need to get another ranger team yet so I like my park is rather small right now so it's to be expected but anyways we do have a 100% for the Struthiomimus and let's get uh, one of these guys nice and made we do have a pretty good rating over here I think I'm ready to go on to the next island you guys very excited for that but I guess basically starting from scratch to be quite honest but right now viability is at 90% whoa I guess because of the genomes we already gave to this uh critter maybe um yeah yeah it drops it a little bit for basically no reason let's do plus nine percent for right there get the rating up to 11 stars i'm like this isn't really a highly rated critter definitely want to give this guy another skin though help out that uh which one arid pattern or savannah pattern let's do arid there we go arid i don't think we have an arid one i think we only have like one other critter there so anything helps and another 90 percent right there so his rating isn't going to be very high at 13 but for this type of critter, I'm like, it can't really get too high. 74% viability. Mmm, it's going to be really risky, you guys. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I'm like, it's a relatively cheap critter. It's honestly, it is the first critter we ever made. So I'm like, eh, we could do better. But then again, this guy has 100% uh, genome. While the other Shrew, the Omimus, is, I don't, is that, is that one still alive, though? 
I don't know. I guess I have to go check. Why? It's only a half a star right now. Health is at 100%. That's great. Let's go see. How's he doing? Is he over here? Yes, he is. There he is right there. Uh, his star rating is only at 9, so yeah, it definitely helps out a bit. Authenticity, plus 2 points right there. Modifications, plus 1. So, look, we're giving the other guy a little bit more modifications, and of course has 100% authenticity, so that should help him out tremendously in his ratings, so that'll be awesome. Anyways, we need to release four dinosaurs to get that uh, science thing, but of course, the other three are going to come from the other island, because this, I think we're doing pretty well on our very first park. We're at three, almost four stars, yeah! <gasps> no! <sighs> Dead dinosaur again, where is it? Is it another, uh, uh not a Struthio Mimus, but a, uh, oh, it is, it's another one of those Hayawangasaurus or whatever, so... Man, these guys are... I'm like, we made all three of them basically at the same time. Was it? Yep, died of old age. I'm like, if we get 100% genome on these guys, that's going to happen a lot less often. And, of course, these guys were all made basically at the same time, so they all had... I... Uh, can I still check the genome and stuff like that? I can't. Oh, plus. Oh, we're minus. Yeah, that's definitely help hurting our rating right there. Welfare penalty. Oh, no, I can't look at the. Ah, oh, man. I was trying to look at the other stuff. Oh, whoops. I was trying to look at the other stuff, but thankfully, they're getting rid of the uh, the old, deceased, but well respected. Yawangasaurus. So, we're good to go there. How's our other guy? Oh, no. We had an. Oh. That was bound to happen when we had that many modifications, you guys. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Should we try it a second time just in case it happens again and we already have a head start? Nah. I think I think it's incubating relatively fast, so we don't need to do that right now, to be quite honest. <laughs> Alright, well, seems like the other dead dino is nice and gone now, so that's good. How's our overall rating doing for that? It's almost three stars for exclusively just the dinosaurs. And, of course, we do need to have more and more and more of these fellas, because we are slowly losing them here and there, you guys. So, seems like the Drake Rex are fine with the current population right now. I think they'll be fine if we add one more. Uh, where's my most popular herbivore? Kind of want to check that real quick. Just, you know, in case I want to make another one of those things. So, of course, the Ceratosaurus, very popular. Everyone loves those. Yep, the Trikes are nice and highly up, uh, highly rated. But the Dracorex are honestly pretty good contenders in second place. Admontosaurus is, yeah, one star on all three of those. So, definitely want to get those guys nice and upgraded here. And the old Dracorex, I don't know how much longer that one has. But... It's kind of holding the, holding the score back a little bit. But right now, the Struthio Mimus is going to be released. Let's see what this guy looks like. What do we give him? The arid pattern? Oh, whoa. Wow, he looks great. He's all green. He's kind of got a little bit of pink or purple on the top of his head. Ooh, look at this fella. <laughs> all right, I'm loving this so far. All right, so... Anyways, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Man, I've recorded about four hours of footage today, you guys. Can you guys believe that? Of course, I'm probably going to cut that down to, like, maybe three hours of usable footage, maybe. <laughs> so, I've recorded tons today so far, you guys. It's crazy. Oh, we have some more stuff to sell real quick. But anyways, I've been having tons of fun over here, you guys. I hope you guys have been as well. If you guys have, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my link latest videos on the YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you do not miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I guess we're going to be going out to the other islands, you guys. We're going to go out, to, oh wait, that's the expedition map, where is the other map? Island navigation, yes. We're going to go over here to Isla Muerta, the island of the dead. Isla Muerta is a more hazardous island to run a successful facility on. Another, oh my god. While it can enjoy pleasant sunsets across the beach, it is often ravaged by dangerous storms. Ooh, definitely need some of those storm things to protect our uh, stuff over there, you guys. Thankfully, I have a couple over here already. Oh, no! Another trike down died of old age. Once again, thankful it was old age and not something else. <sighs> what a terrible way to end an episode. Asset collection request received. But anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time on Isla Muerta, here in Jurassic World Evolution. Oh, bye there.